Mercury samples can be easily contaminated when collected. ALS recommends the use of EPA method 1631 to avoid all sources of potential contamination during sampling procedures. Use this short video as a guide to properly conduct ultra trace mercury sampling. The ALS sampling kit includes one sampling kit, one duplicate kit, one field blank kit, gloves, and a cooler for transportation. A peristaltic pump, Teflon dipper, and tubing may be necessary for pond or sampling basin collection. While ALS does not provide this equipment, our experts can provide advice and a recommendation on proper equipment. ALS recommends the use of Tyvek suits and face masks to reduce risks of sample contamination. Before sample collection, make sure to have two samplers available. The clean hands sampler is responsible for collection of the sample, while the dirty hands sampler is responsible for labeling and setup. To begin sampling, open the outer bag holding the sampling kit. Put on the clean pair of gloves supplied by the lab and remove the inner bag. Then open the inner bag to remove the sample containers. If possible, submerge the sample container and remove the cap. Rinse the container three times using the sample to be collected. Please note that this process should be done as quickly as possible to avoid atmospheric contamination. After rinsing is completed, submerge the container and fill full with sample. Cap the container and place it back into the inner bag. Open the outer Ziploc bag, place the inner bag containing the sample, seal the outer bag and place it back in the cooler. Follow the same procedure using the containers and Ziploc bags included in the duplicate kit. For sampling of the field blank, do not rinse the containers. Use the supplied water as the sample. Cap the container and place it back into the bag along with the empty bottle. Place the collected samples in the cooler. Finally, use the chain of custody form to record the appropriate information regarding your specific project and ship your samples overnight to an ALS laboratory. For additional information, contact your ALS project manager or visit www.alsglobal.com.